All right, guys, we're looking at a hollow handle survival knife that I'm doing for. I'm doing this one for a gentleman and uh, making me one as well. I did the Randall style handguard, the Randall style chole. It's pretty heavy duty. This thing is just uh, as far as blade thickness, it's a little over 3 16 and right under a quarter inch. Pretty uh, good sized blade. It just looks outstanding. Did a flat grind to a, a slight hollow grind. You know, I use a certain grit size for achieving a factory razor sharp secondary cutting edge. You know, like if you go buy a brand new knife from a reputable company and you look at that secondary cutting edge, it's got a certain look to it, certain grind, and this is what I do on my knives when I finish them out. False edge comes to a nice point. Just did a factory style razor sharp edge on here. And I've got to mount the, getting ready to mount it. Use a titanium bar stock. I'm actually coming a little bit longer than what most people will do on the tang going in there. So I've got real titanium bar stock going through there. Got my maker's mark on the back. Snow 2023. And I've got the blade stamp 5160. And I still got to do some fit and finish, final inspection once I get it mounted. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. So these things are just ready to go. And let's cut a little bit of paracord here. So if you guys, if you're interested in one of these, let me know. And hand make the, the, the blade. And I hand make the hand guard. All right, guys. And so... Uh, I will catch you guys on the next one, and I've got to get this mounted and get it all polished back up and do some final inspection on it. I'll let the, you'll have to uh, find you a compass that you can mount in there. That's not a big deal. You can find those and just put your little epoxy and mount you a compass in the end.